What's going on? Uh, just Afro Think Tank. Let me show you what else I got in here because I'm using my space. You know, I'm using my land. I'm not just letting it sit. Some people, they buy land and they just let it sit and it's not being utilized, right? So even though I got my catfish farm, I'm utilizing this. As you can see, I am growing cassava. Cassava. Cassava is everywhere. And these are, you can see these babies. You know, these are babies. I got my mounds up here. I keeps my land doing something. I keep food. I'm telling you, you can't go wrong doing food. As you can see, you know, they're getting pretty big. My cassava farm. I'm telling you, like cassava, like if y'all want to come make some money, come here and, and grow some cassava. I swear. There's enough. And I'm telling you that as a guy who wants to make money growing cassava, I'm telling you, that there is so much need and demand for food, right? For far, for people to come out here and produce food that I am not afraid to tell you guys, hey, come and be my competition. Come out here, buy some land, grow cassava. Very easy crop to grow. Low maintenance because it's a tuber, right? So it's just, you know, it's in the ground, guys. Come on. This is one of the easiest things. You just grow it. You can go back to America right and then come back when harvest time harvest your cassava right and if you want to what, what else you can do is you can and this is what i plan on doing like look at my i mean they keep growing too like and then the thing about cassava is you go to it's so easy you take a cassava and you break it apart and you plant it again it's, it's so it's it's like the, it's almost the dumbest thing i mean anybody can grow cassava right so uh what, what i'm gonna do is I want to process the cassava. I'm not just, I don't want to just grow and sell cassava. No, I want to own the means of production. That's what we need to be doing. Owning the means of production. We need to control the entire chain from the ground to the bag. All right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to grow this cassava. We're not just necessary this batch. This batch is going to get sold like regular, right? But in the future, I'm going to grow cassava. I'm going to process the cassava. That means I got to buy equipment. I got to buy machines and get people to... You know, process it into a cassava flour, maybe um, gari, right? Gari, very popular, right? And then I'll bag it up myself, put my damn name on it, and bam, I got a product, all right? So that's what we got going on here. This is the cassava uh, farm that I have here. And I'm just showing you, anybody can do it. Look, I don't, look, hey, 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 let me tell you something. I never farmed a day in my life. I don't know nothing about farming. I don't know nothing about listen never farmed in my life i just youtubed it i swear to god yo i youtubed it and that's just what i did i'm telling you you can learn anything from youtube university right anything how hard is it right you plant i mean i try to plant at home but i ain't no professional all right and there's look there's a lot of black farmers out there who could come over here and make a killing oh my god listen if you're a black farmer Right, and y'all know how they restrict us in America and farming. The government tell you you can't grow this, you can't do this, you can't do this, you can't do that. You have to do it the way. Man, you come to Nigeria, do what you want. Ain't no government not gonna tell you you can't farm this seed, you can't farm that seed. You gotta farm this way. You gotta. The government ain't gonna say nothing. They gonna say, oh, you wanna farm? Here, you, they might give you some damn land to farm. But I recommend you buy your land. I buy my land. I don't. I don't accept free land. Ain't nothing ever free. I don't care. I mean, I've been offered free land. I don't want it. I pay for my land. That way I know, you know, I don't got no, no funny business going on. But I'm telling you, come out here and, and buy several acres and just farm cassava. Process that shit. You'd be a millionaire, right? Where everybody else trying to be the next computer IT chat GPT uh, multi-millionaire app developer, I'm going to come out here and grow some food, right? Do some basic shit, and I'm going to become a millionaire with land that once you buy the land, right? And in Nigeria, this land, once you buy it, it's yours. It's not like Ghana, all right, where it's not your land and you got funny business going on. It ain't like the Gambia, where you sitting here buying up somebody else's land or whatever and you got, no, in, in Nigeria, when you buy land, I mean, even though you can't be scammed, right? Keep in mind, you can't be scammed, but you get scammed in America buying land too. Buying land, it can be, you can be scammed. But in Nigeria, I buy land from the elders, from the chiefs from the people themselves. That way, they can't tell me, they can't say that I stole no anybody land. Because I'm buying it from the elder themselves that own the land that's been in their family for however long. They decide they want to sell some land and I buy the land. Boom, it's just like that. Fair fair business, right? Square, documented, 
process in the gut in, in the system so if i go downtown and i go to the courthouse guess what my name and it is 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 registered as the owner of this land that land over there that land over there that land right there and some more land i got all right but anyway i just want to show you you know come out here and be a goddamn cassava farmer you know all my southern africans all my north carolinas my alabamas my mississippis you know all y'all all y'all come out here and get y'all get your get a piece of your get some of this shit you understand anyway that's all i got to say this afro think tank learn some teach something i'm out